vlog time people I'm back again back again on Red Ash um, I got here yesterday Sunday about half four didn't get all my rods in till just before ten o'clock last night um, but I only put two rods out anyway last night so I'm fishing off the eye bank I'm fishing out to the plateau about 80 odd yards um, I'm in about 10 foot of water what I did was I put a few spawns out last night not a lot because it was getting dark and I didn't know how accurate I was going to be so what I've done I've reeled in this morning it's about 11 o'clock been up since 5 this morning but my legs have been hurting mate absolutely killing me my legs I've been laid on the bed but like I say anyway never mind my foot I've reeled them in all of them in I've re put brand new rigs on every single rod I've got two out there like I say 80 odd yards on the plateau and I've got a wafter on one rod and then a wafter on the other well it's a pop up but it's a small pop up a 12 mil but when you put it on with a size 5 hook in it uh, with the weight of the hook and a bit of putty eh, turns it into a wafter now my other rod I've got there's nobody in the peg next door so I've got it over to where I was fishing last week uh, right uh, off of this bush I'm in about about 12 foot of water 14 foot of water and all I've done is I've dropped a chod out there went out not first cast it weren't tight enough so I recast again and then all I've done is I've got the throwing stick out and put about 15 baits not even that, about 10 baits around it and I'm just going to leave that rod if anybody turns up next door I'll just move it um, I don't think they will but that, I just thought I'd put that there for today just to see how it goes it's really warm I mean I've got my thermals on underneath and I've had to take my top off and I've just got my t-shirt on got my t-shirt everybody oh Oh, I can't it's an obsessive compulsive fishing disorder <laughs> what somebody bought me my girlfriend and the daughter so yeah but I was gonna go up the top end I was because the wind is blowing up there for the next three days and I wanted to get over here in the reeds but when I got here yesterday it was packed all the way around there there was the odd peg but I didn't want it, the pegs that I could see I didn't want to go in there I didn't want to jump I think there was about two pegs spare um, I was going to move this morning but my leg was that bad there's no way I'd have been able to to move today my leg's just too bad but um, at the end of the day I'm here now so I'm going to fish the plateau let's just see what happens so that's the state of affairs we're supposed to be getting some rain today some tomorrow it's supposed to rain all week actually so I, I don't know my opinion I think with the rain and the wind I don't think they'll be right on the end of it I've got a funny feeling they'll be halfway in the lake or more towards this end because I've caught in these conditions before on here um, that's when I had that common out that 32 pound common in these conditions from the next peg so, just have to see how it goes people right I'm gonna sign off for now because I'll get some rigs tied and have a cup of, co cup of tea cup of coffee so I shall catch you in a bit adios amigos right people seeing a few fish now down this end made me feel better tried putting some floaters out see if I could get them going so I've seen them around this area close in but the birds are just nailing them so decided for tea tonight some crisp bay cheese and bacon bakes mashed potatoes and then we have some coleslaw to go with it so I think I'm just going to leave my rods where they are um, for tonight 
and just see what happens. Right, I'm going to get on sorting this out, people. In a bit. Adios. Raining again, people. It is, I've left them rods out there. On that spot. I'd have left that other one over there. I haven't budged him, I've just left him. I know they went down alright, so I shall leave him till tomorrow. So it's a case of just sitting tight and hoping that one of them buzzers goes. So, I shall catch you in a bit, people. Adios, amigos. Check out the ducks. Bath time. They're getting really big, some of the ducklings are. I think she's got how many? She's got one, two, three. I think this is the one that's got six, I think. One's got six, one's got eight, one's got ten, and one's got four. Yeah, here they are coming up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is the one with six. These are the biggest ones on here, I think. They're getting massive, they are. They're all good size. They are. They're all growing well. It's good to see, nice to see it is. Bless them. Morning, people. It's about half four. Good morning. Nothing to report. No liners, no bleach, nothing. Yeah, I saw fish down here last night, quite a few. But there was mainly up on the surface. Um, they're just not boshing out at all. Very, very strange. I mean, the weather, what we've had with the storms and the rain and stuff. You would have thought we would have seen some boshing about, but no, nothing. So, it's supposed to rain a lot again today, and tomorrow, and the day after, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens today. But there's definitely no fish visited that spot out there, that plateau. Not so far, anyway. But. We'll see. Right, we'll get a cup of coffee. Catch you later, people. Adios. Right, people. It's about half nine, quarter to ten, something like that. I started seeing fish yesterday afternoon, but there's a lot of them showing up now. I've just started getting liners on my plateau rods out there. And there's a, the fish are coming down this side, coming down the side of the reeds, and they're coming across here and going up towards the plateau. So it's looking good. Feeling quite confident now. In the last ooh, hour or so, I've seen, oh, I've lost count now, probably eight or nine. And definitely carp, but not bream. I've seen a lot of bream this morning, first thing, and last night, but they're not bream. There's just been a big and come out across here a couple of minutes ago. Definite carp, so they're on the move and they're down here again. So that's really good news for me because I've got a couple more days yet. When we're not being able to move because of my leg, things are looking promising. Right, catch you later, people. Just thought I'd give you an update. Adios.
just thought, like the camera's picking me up, just thought I'd show you what I'm putting out. Just my usual fluorocarbon rig, the German rig. I've got a bit of shrink tubing on there, hook bead, curve shank size 4. And I've got a pink Boochberry wafter, which absolutely stink. And then my bit of putter and my usual loop at the top. And that's corder. That's the corder IQ2. And the other rig is exactly the same, except that's got a scope 8 squid wafter on. Not juiced up or anything, just plain. So they're going back out on the plateau in a bit. Just thought I would uh, show you. I've left me other rod out over there till later on. And I'll fetch that in there. I'm going to nip to the cart and then I'm going to get these back out there. And I'm going to put some more bait over the top. Alright, I shall catch you in a bit. Adios.
morning people it's about four o'clock in the morning sorry about that people the battery run out I just had to charge it I was saying it's about four o'clock in the morning but it's about ten to five now five o'clock something like that but nothing's happening no liners no nothing the only thing I've seen this morning so far is a few dream rolling it just don't seem to be happening at all with the car I don't know what's up I don't just really really slow this year at kicking in there has been a few out but there's not been a lot out so my last day today to see what happens last day and last night I think what I'll do is leave the rods in all day and just sort them out later on unless I see something else happen before I can't see the point in disturbing the areas again if I haven't got to I shall reel them in again tonight from last night and just check the baits Unless I have a fish before then, you never know. But it's definitely still not fishing right yet. I was so tired this morning, I think I'm gonna have a sleep, dinner time for a couple of hours. But yeah, so nothing else to report, people. So, I just have to wait and see what happens today. There's still plenty of time yet for a fish. So we'll just see what happens, people. Right, I should catch you in a bit. Adios. Morning, people. It's about quarter past four in the morning. It's bright, really, it light really early this morning. It is. Last night there was a lot of fish about down this end again. So I was expecting one of my rods to have gone but nothing so far. But there's a lot more fish down here again last night. So I think what I'm going to do is stop another day. Because of the fact I've seen that many fish down here, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, stop one more day and then I'm going to try and get back on next week so, so we'll just wait and see what happens today so yeah there we go so I should catch you in a bit people adios amigos
Uh, sorry about that. I don't know why this camera keeps switching off. But it's supposed to be forecast rain till um, next week, so we'll have to see. Right, I'm going to sign off because I'm going to have a couple of glasses of wine and get settled down and watch the water. So I'll catch you later, people. Adios. Right, blog time people, it's Friday morning, it's about quarter past ten. I'm going to start having a steady pack down. I've had one line through the night, well, say early morning. That's it, I've had two liners since I've been here, I've had fish over me, but I think it's this algae that's causing the problem. I mean, look at it down here, it's absolutely thick with it, look. You see it? That's what the water's like, people. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. So, if I come back on Sunday, which I think I will be doing, for a couple of days, then I don't think I'll be coming on here. Not why it's like that. I'll just be sat camping. Um, unless it's clearer at the top end and the wind's up that direction. Otherwise, I'm going to have a go on Grimmies, I think, just for a couple of days. Just for a change while this algae blooms on. I've never fished on it before, but I've got a rough idea how to fish it. But I shall see. I'll have a ride round there when I've packed up today. Right, I'm going to get start getting packed up, people. So, thanks for watching. Tight lines. Happy angling. And thanks for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you all next time. Adios, amigos.